Good afternoon. You hear the noon siren going off to be tested on the first Wednesday in May as we start this live broadcast. And um, we invite you now to the eastern side of our home. You are actually looking at the white azalea is probably 50 years old. It has been here since we have been here. And then you find a smaller azalea in red at its feet. And so we are going to admire those today. We hear dogs behind us answering the noon call. You're also looking at the corner where I will be sitting this evening for meditation prayer, leading you in that practice this evening at seven o'clock. So those of you who have not experienced that, I invite you to join us this evening if you are interested to see what that is about. This um, noon call will last only a moment and then it will die away. So let us just take some time right now, take some deep breaths, and reflect on the goodness and the beauty of God's creation as we look and draw comfort from Him. I read to you from the book, Come Away, My Beloved, by Francis J. Roberts. My people shall not go, out, go mourning, for I, the Lord, shall be their rejoicing and their song. They shall not be a complaining people, for I shall take away the murmuring from, the, from your streets. Shall I lead into the battle fronts an army of weeping women? Shall I ask the faint-hearted to war? Nay, but I shall give to my people brave and courageous spirits, and I will make them strong of heart. I will give them the spirit of the martyrs, for they shall be my witnesses of resurrection power. They shall be stalwart, they shall be steadfast, and I shall remove from the ranks those who are timid and those who desire comfort and security. My way is a way of sacrifice, and the rewards are not in worldly honors. So take upon you the full armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the loins gird with truth, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, having the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit. Oh yes, my people, this is a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ye shall stand against the foe face to face. Ye shall not turn in retreat, lest ye be slain, for there is no armor to protect the back. The coward shall perish. Ye have not wrestled in any measure such as he, the Lord Jesus. Ye, have, ye are not prepared to enter into this conflict as long as ye are absorbed in the luxuries and the personal comforts of thy present life. For every soldier must give first place to his obligation to the armed forces and second place to his own private life and wishes. Even so ye must do, if ye would be my followers. Even so did Jesus during his earthly ministry. His entire life was subordinated to the Father's will. As it is written, even Christ pleases, pleased not himself. How dare ye risk allowing the flesh to manifest its desires? They can be only evil continually. No good thing can come out of a deceitful heart. The arm of flesh will fail you. Ye dare not trust your own. 
Only that which is generated within thee by the Spirit of God can bring forth righteousness. And be not conformed unto this world, but be becoming transformed by the renewing of your minds, that ye may personally discover what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hear the words of Paul as written to, first, to Timothy in his first letter, chapter 6, verse 9. But people who long to be rich soon begin to do all kinds of wrong things to get money, things that hurt them and make them evil-minded and finally send them to hell itself. Pray with me. Lord, you want to provide our every need. Help me find contentment in you alone. Take away from me any love of money. Show me how to use money as a means to honor you. I pray this in the precious name of Jesus and in the power of God's Holy Spirit. Amen.